Hello students, I am George Sebastian, working in Computer Science Department. I am taking the topic Computer Hardware, which includes CPU, Motherboard, Keyboard, Mouse, Graphics Card, Video Card, etc. I will explain these topics in detail uh, later in online classes. Hearty welcome to all of you. Thank you. I will be dealing with the topic Computer Hardware, which is part of Module 1 of Value Added Course. Let's begin the topic with the basic of computer. Most of you are familiar with the terms related to computers. So let us recollect them. What is a computer? A computer is a high speed electronic data processing machine. It accepts data or instructions as input, process data and generates output. A combination of hardware and software forms a usable computing system. So, every system must accept inputs and the system must process the inputs and the system must generate output. In computer also, computer accepts data or instructions as input, process data and generates output. Major functions of computer are data or instructions are accepted as input. Data or instructions are stored in memory. Stored data are processed. Control of all operations inside the computer. Results are displayed or printed. This is the diagrammatic representation of basic structure of a computer. In this diagram, we can see input device, CPU, which consists of control unit and uh, arithmetic and logic unit mainly, memory unit, also output device. So, let us explain about the basic structure of a computer. First, input device. The input units are used to read the necessary data into the computer. Example, keyboard, mouse, etc. So, Input devices are devices which are used to input data into a computer. Second is central processing unit, CPU. It is the processing unit of a computer. It is the brain of any computer system. It controls the operation of all other components. It performs the calculations, comparisons, and general data processing of a computer system. The CPU has three major components, namely primary memory, arithmetic logic unit, and control unit. A computer also contains memory or storage unit. It is used to store data, programs, immediate and final results. It can be classified into two types, primary memory and secondary memory. 
primary memory or a main memory two most important kinds of primary memory are read only memory and random access memory read only memory typically contains manufacturers instructions one such a read only memory stores a, an initial program called a bootstrap loader whose function is to start the operation of computer system once the power turned on another example of uh, rom is bios basic input output system it is also a rom read only memory ram random access memory is the area where the operating system application programs and the data in current use are kept temporarily so that they can be accessed by the computer's processor secondary storage device that is a secondary memory it is the additional memory attached to a computer system it permanently stores the data example hard disk compact disk digital video disk dvd arithmetic and logic unit it performs arithmetic functions like uh, addition subtraction multiplication division and also logical operations like uh, greater than less than and equal to etc next comes motherboard it is the primary large printed circuit board that connects all other parts or components of a computer next is output device it enables you to show the output or a result of processed data examples of output devices are monitor printer etc now let us discuss about uh, computer hardware computer hardware includes the physical parts of a computer such as computer case central processing unit monitor mouse keyboard computer data storage like uh, hard disk random access memory rom graphics card sound card speakers motherboard etc by contrast software is the set of instructions that can be stored and run by hardware first we will discuss computer case a computer case also known as computer chases tower system unit or cabinet is the enclosure that contains most of the components of a personal computer this is the diagram uh, of the computer case that everyone seen this type of box near to the monitor it is made up of metal and plastic it uh, contains the main components of the computer including the motherboard central processing unit power supply etc the front of the case usually has an on off button 
and one or more optical drives. That means we can attach pen drive, etc. using USB port. In the computer case, motherboard is screwed and placed inside the computer case and uh, it is a printed circuit board and a foundation of computer that is the biggest board in a computer chases. It allocates power and allows communication to and between CPU, random access memory and all other computer hardware components. Motherboard contains ports to connect all of the internal components. The motherboard provides a single socket for CPU whereas for memory normally one or more slots are available for random access memory. Motherboards provide ports to attach the floppy drive, hard drive and optical drives via ribbon cables. Motherboard carries fans and a special port designed for power supply. This is the diagram of a motherboard. Details of motherboard will be explained later in another video. In that we can see CPU socket, CPU fan and heat sink mounting points, DDR memory slot for RAM, ATX power connector, IDE connector, CMOS battery, South bridge, AGP slot, PCI slots, North bridge, PS2 bar, PS bar 2 port, USB port, serial port, LAN port, parallel port, etc. Next, I will be discussing about uh, CPU, the central processing unit. It is also called the brain of the computer. It is responsible for fetching, decoding and executing program instru instructions as well as performing mathematical and uh, logical calculations. The CPU is seen as the main and the most crucial integrated circuitry chip in a computer as it is responsible for interpreting most of computer commands. CPU is the processor or a processing unit of the computer. What are the main components? Primary memory, that is all data and programs must be placed in the primary memory before they can be used in processing. This unit can store instructions data and intermediate results. This unit supplies information to other units of the computer when needed. It is also known as internal storage unit or the main memory or the primary storage or random access memory. Another part or component of CPU is control units. It uh, controls the operations of all parts of the computer, all hardware parts. Arithmetic and logic unit performs arithmetic and logical operations. It performs its tasks with a special storage location called uh, registers. 
Next is keyboard. A keyboard is an input device that allows a person to enter letters, numbers and other symbols. They are called characters in a keyboard into a computer. It is one of the most used input devices for computers. QWERTY layout is the main is maintained in keyboard. The buttons QWERTY are arranged one by one. That is why it is called a QWERTY layout or a QWERTY keyboard. The keys on computer keyboards are classified as alphanumeric keys, letters and numerals. Letters A, B, C, D, numerals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Punctuation keys, comma, period, semicolon and so on. Special keys, function keys and control keys, arrow keys, caps lock key and so on. Mouse, it is a small handheld device designed to control or move the pointer or a cursor in a graphical user interface. It allows you to point to or select objects on computer's display screen. It is generally placed on a flat surface as we need to move in smoothly to control the pointer. Next is monitor. A computer monitor is an output device that displays information in pictorial form. A monitor usually comprises the visual display circuit, visual display circuitry, casing, and power supply. The details about uh, different types of monitors and also different types of mouse and uh, different ports of uh, motherboard etc will be taken in later video classes so thank you students